we're back. I'm Dad. I'm Jimmy. Spoiler alert. We won, baby. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. One sign game. <laughs> Wait, you watched it? Saw it before I went to bed, but they were losing. I think you woke me up, though, with screaming and yelling. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, man. What can I say? I'm, I'm sure all Falcon fans have felt this way. It was such an exciting game. But you know how it is when you're watching those Falcons and it gets close to the end and it's so close and you start getting that feeling in your stomach. Like, oh no, not again, not again. But no, this time it was not again. The Falcons actually pulled it out. So, I mean, what a thrill. How exciting was that? Okay, so do you want to discuss it? Yeah, of course. Well, it was a close game throughout. The Falcons running game was doing well and Kirk Cousins was playing much better. Well, you thought it was a turn point. Actually, was it? It was a fourth down and one late in the game in the fourth quarter. Bijan Robinson was handed the ball, went up the gut, and was stymied by C.J. Gardner Johnson. Who removed his helmet. Yeah, and the refs did not flag him. Well, excuse me. They threw a flag, and then they picked it up. But we all saw him pull his helmet off. So now the Eagles had the ball at what looked like might be towards the end of the game. I bet you thought it was over too. Man, who you telling? I definitely did, but I knew if the Falcons could somehow stop them and maybe hold them to three points, the Falcons might have a shot uh, with a little bit of time left on the clock. But the Eagles kept moving up the field. And then a big third down from the Falcons 10 yard line. The Eagles caught timeout. And I don't know what the head coach Nick Sirianni was thinking, but he called timeout on his third 10. I mean, uh, third down from the 10 yard line. And I was just like, man, I hope he's doing something arrogant instead of running the ball. So short pass to the flat to Saquon. Looks like he might have the first down or even the touchdown. But Saquon dropped the ball. Couldn't believe it. Saquon dropped the ball and the clock stopped. The Eagles kicked the field goal, went up by six. Now, all the Falcons had to do is drive up the field with a minute 39 on the clock and score a touchdown to take the lead. Kirk Carl was going crazy. Yeah, he was. And the Falcons were moving up the field, pass after pass. And the touchdown to Drake London. Man, that's probably when you heard me the most. That's probably when I was jumping up and down, the loudness, all of that, man. I couldn't believe it. I was so ecstatic. I mean, I know I went hoarse because I was screaming. Sorry, but I was screaming. I know I woke you up. But the Eagles got the ball back. They did. But I believe this time was time for the Falcons defense to step up, and they did. Jesse Bates made another great play. This time it was an interception on Jalen Hurts that pretty much solidified the Falcons' win. We got to just now. Yeah. Hopefully uh, this momentum will carry over to Sunday Night Football when the Atlanta Falcons host the defending Super Bowl Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday in Atlanta. The Swifties. Yeah, the Falcons should have a, a good chance at uh, making this a good game, and I honestly think they have a great chance at, at winning this game. The Chiefs running back was out. Yes, Isaiah Pacheco will miss this game. Uh, he's a vital part of that Kansas City offense. But I'll be honest with you, people, the Kansas City Chiefs offense hasn't looked like the best offense this uh, so far this season. Okay, Falcons, I'll be expecting that dub. Beat the Swifties by 50. <laughs> Hey, everybody, again, we always want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, but before we head out, I think Demi wants to show you his drawing right quick. All right. Show the people so they can see. And you might want to hold it like this. Okay. So what what is... I like my Falcons, my Hawks, and the Bulldogs. All right. 
I like all three of them. Oh, that's awesome, man. Great, great, great job. Well, everybody, we want to thank you again for tuning in as always. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Atlanta Sports Unlimited, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss an episode. Bye. Bye.